going to explore Coffin Bay today. Uh, it was a pretty cloudy, cold morning, but it looks like the sun's coming out, so that's exciting. Uh, yesterday we just went and had fun on the sand dunes. Yo! <laughs> no, the girls loved going down sand dunes, I had a blast. Um, it was scary, but I got over it, and it wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be, so that's good. And so today, hopefully, we can find somewhere to get some yummy oysters. Yo. Well, we are in the seafood capital of the world. Yes. Oh, well, not the world, of Australia. Surely we can buy some oysters somewhere. I found the hopefully. sign of it. Oh, and then Spencer just saw a sign and got all the oyster racks on it. So yeah, we're just on our way there from Port Lincoln. We've got our van. We've parked up at um, John. John's Caravan Repairs. John's Caravan Repairs in Port Lincoln. It's um, $16 a night for power or $5 for no power. It's actually a really good spot. Um, don't expect like a caravan park or anything. Like there's no facilities. You have to be fully self-contained. Fully self-contained. But what a bargain. Um, it's 16 bucks, mate. You can hook up the power. So we, we've got it hooked up to power. We've had three or four days of cloudy, sunny, sort of not really weather. So the batteries aren't fully charged. So we thought stuff for the weekend. Pay the $48 it was for the three nights. And um, yeah, we'll just charge the batteries up to the top and then set sail Monday morning. Ew. So yeah, we've been having lots of cloudy days, so it's come in handy. Anyway, so yeah, that's an epic little spot there. And yeah, we've been exploring Port Lincoln yesterday and drove all around everywhere. And today we're going to have a look around Coffin Bay and um, see what we can find. There are a fair few national parks down here, viewers. So yes. it's a bit hard to go exploring too much with Rangy. Um, it is cooler, so I know a lot of people are going to frown on this, but we do leave him in the car. Where we have, if it's a hot day, we'll leave the car, the car run the aircon on. But if it's a, um, if it's a cooler day, then yeah, we just crack the windows a bit, and he's happy as Larry just goes to sleep in the back. He's got plenty of water and tucker in there, so. Yeah. And we never leave him long. Yeah, like, we never leave him long. Quick little squirt. And half hour or so. Yeah. So, yes. Anyway, we'll see how we go, and yeah, we'll see if we can find something cool. Here we go. Baby, that's what it's all about. Finding epic little spots like this. Welcome to Coffin Bay. Woo! All right, we're coming in. Coming in red hot, dumb slapping, baby. You, you. And now you have to slow down. You can see the oyster racks out there. Yeah. Surely there be some seafood. Ooh. Well, I only had a look, and one of the few of the places closed because it's a Saturday. Oh. I feel like all the fancy. Fancy restaurants to be open, but I want to shuck them again myself because I had fun. Well, the way I want to know, like, the technique for opening an oyster and getting the crap that's in the center of it out, how do they come up with the name shuck? Like, it sounds like chuck, like chuck the oyster. That's what I first, when we went into that place and old mate said, oh, do you know how to shuck them? I was like, what? Chuck them where? That's what I thought. <laughs> like, where do you want me to chuck this bloody thing? Like, <laughs> like why don't you say, do you know how to open an oyster? Like, because you are literally opening it. I don't know where shuck comes from. So if anyone can tell us where the word shuck from comes from, like shucking an oyster, leave a comment below and let us know. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. I knew what he was talking about, only because I've watched my dad do it a long, 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 long time ago when I didn't like oysters, and I've made him give me one, and then... There's no oysters in Wee War, mate. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I had fun doing it, so I want to find some more see if I can do it. Um, plus it's like a challenge to get your own food. You know, like a pistachio. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta work for it, mate. <laughs> you gotta work for it. Anyway, I am getting distracted and not paying attention to my scenery. So, yo, I'm gonna have a look around the window. <laughs> Hi, you come to help me carry? Yeah. Sweet. Mmm. You're gonna try it? Where could I spit it? 
No, you'll eat it. Eat it. Just in case. If you don't, don't like, like it, it, put it in there. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Open. Oh! What's wrong? That's so hot. Oh, it's that hot, is it? Oh, sorry, darling. It's hot, mommy. <laughs> oh, it's you hot. Right, no? Let's blow on it and let that cool down. That's right. Ready? Head back. Eat it. That's not bad, is it, when it's Kilpatrick? Can any good? You ate it. Good work. Good. See? Would you like to try? No, Dan. Okay. She's not happy, viewers. <gasps> I'm fine. She's not happy. I just wanted to get some straight she off the trawlers to get... or whatever you call them when it's oysters. I don't know what they call them when they're oysters. And they didn't have any, they were all closed, and we found this little takeaway shop and we had Kilpatrick and they just weren't good. They weren't the best. So she's devastated at Coffin Bay at the moment. Has nothing to offer. We'll see what the, we got some takeaway ones for natural, so we'll, I guess we'll see what they taste like. So takeaway natural means you have to shuck them yourself. So that basically means you've got to open them and eat the crap inside it yourself. Pretty much, pretty much. So we'll see how they go, hopefully they taste so, Nothing tucked our tail between our legs and we're going back to Port Lincoln. <laughs> yeah, copy. <laughs> Okie dokie. We had a bit of exploring Copper Bay. Um, we had rangey, so we didn't go into the National Park. So, otherwise there wasn't that much more to do there. Um, so, we come back to Port Lincoln. We found this awesome little spot yesterday. Now it's a bit windy and cold. But, anyway, we told the girls they could go for a snorkel. So, we'll go. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're right, get in there. I'm gonna stand on the rock here and watch. But it is freezing, these two little turds wanna get in this water. They're mental. I told them if they go in, I'll come in. Not likely. Go, mate. Go, mate, see what you can find. <laughs> what can you see? <laughs> Are you right? What can you see? It's all pretty rocks, mate. Oh, no. oh, no. Spencey got out because it was cold, so that, guess what that means? Daddy's getting in! Hey, because Scarlet saw the fish! <gasps> Scarlet saw her first fish in her snorkeling gear, didn't she? Yeah. yeah. We'll snorkel when it gets a bit warmer, eh? Daddy, Daddy gonna get in? Yeah. I'm waiting for it. Dad! Dad! Get in! <laughs> We're watching! The viewers are watching! <laughs> One, two, one. So I looked at the water temperature. It's actually three, not too bad. Four, I think because it's cold four, outside, three, it makes it so much harder. One, so it's three, 20 degrees outside and it's 20 degrees in the water. But the wind is just so one, cold. We did it! <laughs> Woo! And he's in! How'd to go? Oh, he's not that bad. <laughs> Are you trying to talk yourself into that? Millie. Little birdie out there having a swim too. You see the birdie? Yes! Oh. And me and Spencer are just sitting here chilling on the rock with Ranger. Yo yo! Well, Ranger is um, laying on sand. Oh, Ranger's on the rocks and sand. Yo yo! What's happened? I think Scarlett needs to have the snorkel part on. I don't think 
free looking up and down is helping because you can't stay flat enough, I think. Could be wrong. Got out to have a break for literally like a minute. Wet their towels and going back in. They're loving it. They saw lots of fish apparently and they want us to go in. But I don't think the little bug bug's gonna go in and yeah, not today. Okay, so <laughs> Daddy and Moo finish their snorkeling. Someone's a bit chilly. I know. We just had a feed of the oysters that we got in Coffin Bay and they were delicious so super happy with that they were so good and um, we didn't eat all dozen the whole dozen because we've already had some oysters for earlier so we'll save some for I'll later have some for tomorrow have some for later yum yum and the kids got the doritos and the yummy dip mm. Ooh, which dad is also eating and so am i